Hello my learner, my name is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. In our science lesson and technology in grade 4 on environment air pollution, we will today learn on how to make a functional mask. How to make a functional mask. And before we continue, can we remind ourselves how we can reduce air pollution? On our previous lesson, we had learned on how to, to reduce air pollution. And I will start with Wangari. Wangari, can you remind us, what did we say about reducing air pollution? Ways on which we can reduce air pollution? Correct. We said we can sprinkle water on dusty places before we sweep. We sprinkle water on dusty places before we sweep. What about you, Tom? When you go to places where there is dust, what do you do? What did we say? Correct. We wear masks to prevent dust entering our nose. That is correct. And today, class, I would like us we make that mask. How do we make a mask? And before I make a mask, I requested you, class, to bring on board the following. A pair or a piece of old cloth. A piece of old cloth that is one material that we need to work what we need we said we come with a piece of old cloth remember the functional mask we are making it with the locally available materials there's no need of buying so a piece of old cloth if you are able to get a new one, the correct, but it wasn't a restriction, bring any piece. We said we also come with shoelaces or a string. Shoelaces or a string. I brought mine too. String or shoelaces. String. String. If you or shoelaces. shoelaces we also said we come with a pair of scissors a pair of scissors scissors a pair of scissors we said we come with those and now how do we make a functional mask on our piece of cloth i don't know what shape you have mine it is of this shape it is almost rectangle or almost rectangle or square shaped but more is a rectangle that is the piece that I've come with so if you have a piece like mine just fold it once fold it once fold your piece once after you fold your piece once take your ruler and your pencil a ruler and your pencil or a pen, a pen that you have a ruler or a pencil at the point where you have joined the flips remember we have one folded side so in the flips from this angle from this corner use your ruler to draw a straight line to meet at the center you can first before you draw you can also fold your your piece again you see where the center is where the center is, it has almost this part. This is the center, so I can make a mark at the center using my pen or a ruler. That is the center. So once you make that one, take your ruler from the other ankle. Just draw a straight line. The same case do to the other side. Just make a straight line again. using your pencil or a pen and you will have something of the sort that has been drawn in your folded material or piece of material then the next step take your pair of scissors pair of scissors remember you are working as a group don't work individually we are working as group so make sure everybody participates then third step or the next step take your pair of scissors 
you will cut along the line. Your members can help to hold, you'll cut along the lines that you have drawn, the piece of the material. When your material is still folded, so don't un unfold, you'll cut along that line that you have drawn carefully. Let your friends assist you to hold so that the material does not move. Then after that, your partner can take the scissors. Now it's his or her turn to cut the other side, not you to cut every side. So can we cut together? Yes, I do, you do. I do, then do the same. I do, then do the same to your piece of paper and make sure when one cuts the, the other side, one side is cut by the other partner. And after that, now you will have something of this. You will have something of this, of this. Then now you can unfold what is left. You unfold and wow, it looks like a diamond. It looks like a diamond. That is what we needed. Remember, we have just picked all the clothes and string all a pair of a pair of shoelaces. Then now, the next step at the edges of the diamond, the sharp edges of the diamond, make a hole using the pair of scissors. Make a hole using the pair of scissors. You can make a hole using the pair of scissors as one sharp corner of the at the edge of the shapes of the diamond you can make those holes like mine the teacher has made is so can you make holes like these ones we have two holes then next step next step what do we do take your shoelace or the string tie to one side of the hole take your shoelace tie to one side of the hole then you take the, the, the your partner take the other piece of string or the shoelace tie on the other side of the hole and then after you tie you'll have something of this you'll have something of the this and this is your mask this is your mask we have just made it in a few minutes. This is how you make a mask from what you have in the environment. Then after that, now you can tie your mask. This is your mask. You tie like this. The teacher, what is doing, you do the same to your mask. Make sure you tie it properly. You can, assist, you can be assisted by your partner to tie. Your partner to assist you to tie. Make sure you align it well so that it does not cover your eyes. And that becomes your mask that resembles your mask. Now, as you work in dusty areas where there is a lot of hot air pollution, always you do not have to struggle or now to get a mask. You can make it from locally available materials and you will protect. Remember, the work of the mask is to protect ourselves from inhaling dust particles, from inhaling dusty particles that is what we have made then after that you can take off your mask now remember always we have our digital machine the camera or well, the teachers come with his photo we take a photo of our mask we take a photo of our mask this is what I've taken. So when I go to print, this is what I will print. An example of locally made mask. 
I've used my phone. An activity for us to do when you go home, kindly follow the same steps we have used. Kindly follow the same, same steps that we have used to make this mask with the help of your parents. Let them help you come up with a mask like this. Then after that, use his or her phone, her tablet, his computer, digital camera that he has or she has. Take a photo, go print it, and put it in your portfolio. That marks the end of our lesson. Have a nice time.